Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. It's a mistake I believe a lot of people make to assume that all the characters in your story have to either be likable or hated in some way. So you're going to have your protagonists, which have to be likable, and your antagonists that have to be hated. There's somewhere in the middle you can be, though. Have characters that are at least somewhat important to the story who aren't supposed to be likable, but are supposed to, well, not really be evil. Now, you do see this a lot with the kind of asshole characters that you see in a lot of stories. Like, let's say, in terms of video games, Cloud Strife is a pretty good example. In the early parts of Final Fantasy VII, at least, he is an asshole. He's a, the biggest fucking dick in the world. Goes around talking shit on everyone, thinks he's better than everyone, all that. But, you know, at... Facade kind of breaks down pretty quickly in that game, and it's not really the kind of thing that I'm talking about here anyway. He is an asshole, but he's overall still a good person, and he does virtu virtuous things and all that kind of stuff. There's another kind of character that fits this bill, though. One who is a terrible person, but he's not supposed to be somebody that, like, you actually like. Now, as much of an asshole as Cloud was, he's a character that you were supposed to like. You can have other characters, such as someone we're going to meet in this episode, who you can enjoy as a character and not enjoy them as a person. And we're gonna go and see why in a few minutes. But first, I gotta break into this castle. Baron home? Not your concern. Need to talk to him. Open the gate. Not a chance. We heard what happened at the crossroads. We'll not let a man like that in here. Won't get in that way. Gotta find another. Ought to look among the villagers. Might find one brave enough to help me. Okay, they are not gonna let us in. So, well, we gotta find another way in. I assume that we could have gone directly to the way to sneak in if we wanted to and not bother with all of this stuff, but the game does guide you there if you don't happen to just stumble across it on your own. Greetings. Greetings to you. Other villagers all scurried off as soon as they saw me. You didn't. Oh, I'm too old to scurry. Besides, what could you do to me? Kill me? Go ahead. I've not long to live. Tan me eyed? Wouldn't work. Your skin's right brittle. Lived here long? Hmm. Since I was born. Reckon that'll be more than 70 winters. Must know the area well. Not bad. Listen, I gotta get inside the fortress. Can I do that without going through the front gate? You can. But few know the way. If you were to make an humble offering, call it to this humble man, maybe I could point you in the right direction. Fine. Don't really feel like arguing with the guards. Years back when the old lord still ruled Crow's Perch, the blacksmith's boy went missing. Old village looked for him. No luck. Finally found the boy in the river. He drowned. Tragic. But how's that supposed to help me? A few days on, an old woman who served the Lord found the boy's cap near the castle well. So, either he lost it there or he fell in the well. Clever man. Village folk built a shrine where they found the lad's body, northwest of here. Wait till you find an entrance to a passage nearby. Shrine? Where is it exactly? Track that weaves through the village. Follow it to the bridge. Turn right past that. Then go on, straight as piss, till you get to a crossroads. Turn right again. Then follow that path up a hill. Shrine stands upon it. Right past the bridge, then right again. I'll find it, thanks. Now we've got to go break into the castle of the Bloody Baron. The Bloody Baron was a Temerian soldier who... After 
Nilfgaard rolled in and just kicked the shit out of the Sumerians, swore fealty to Nilfgaard. And in return, once they've secured their position in this area, he will be granted some kind of a nobility or something like that. So, I guess that's what he is after. And he's kind of a dick. A terrible person. You don't get the name Bloody Baron for being a nice guy. And Geralt, well... I guess it's going to be kind of difficult for someone like him to get an audience with the Baron right away. But the fact that he has had some run-ins with the Baron's men and killed them, that kind of puts him on the outs. So we got to find a way to sneak in. He supposedly has information on where Ciri was, and Ciri spent some time with him. So we need to get our information in. <laughs> There's the shrine. Message must be somewhere around here. So there's always going to be a bunch of little waypoints they have to find your way around. It doesn't assume that you're going to notice everything and then figure out how to move on from there. It does have Geralt like point out when you've come across the different areas. Now here's the cave I gotta find to sneak in. Now I assume that it's a little hard to see, but I assume that had I gone here first, I could have just snuck in. There wouldn't have been anything gating me from getting in. And I'd like to see what that conversation would have looked like once I got on the inside. If I just sort of snuck in without all the build-up and setup for the story to get into this far. It's kind of like a mini dungeon. It won't take very long for us to get to the other side. Although I do think there are a few enemies in here. Not really that many, eh? Still, I'm gonna speed time up. There's a water hag down here. That's one thing that I've... Even though it does take quite a bit more effort and take more time and all that kind of stuff, something I do like about being able to... Uh, I like about recording the commentary after gameplay is it does allow me to cut out slow parts or speed through progression through dungeons. This is not a walkthrough. I don't want anyone to, to watch these videos thinking that this will teach them how to play the game, so that's my excuse for doing this. Infosema, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, how we danced, how we twirled, ha ha ha! Ooh! One, two, three! One, two, three! <laughs> hey! Enough! I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Aha! A defender of the downtrodden. Greetings. News gets around quick. That it does. When I learned you'd slaughtered my men, I thought to have you captured and hanged. Or at least flogged. But then I thought, one tough cocker if he bested that lot of cutthroats. Man like him could prove useful. Useful? How? That's the spirit. We'll work well together. I can see that already. This way. One thing. You do well to behave this time. Remember, I've still to decide what to do with you. Which I shall do after we've spoken. Make yourself at home. Now where'd I put the bloody vodka? Ah, there it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltes dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell! Who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blobtits round here call me the Bloody Baron. 
Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? I don't. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. What's that supposed to mean? That a threat? Aye, not as clever as I suspected you'd be. No, it's no threat. I'll spell it out for you. I know who you're looking for. She showed up some time ago. Exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Sent some beasts from the woods and tapped her before she could reach the village. It's Siri. She looks very different. She's an adult now. She was a child the last time we had seen her in the sort of dream flashback that Geralt had back in episode one. Here, you know, I don't know how old she's supposed to be. I would assume maybe around 20 or so. And she's not a witcher, but she did go through the training. Witchers have to undergo some horrific mutations and experiments or something like that. And Siri was spared that, at least. But she's clearly seen some shit. She's got this... You can come down. Hello there. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes. Though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. Why don't you tell me where you live? In Lindenvale. They'd see to your wounds there. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it. And I lost my way. Your father, why did he have you follow the trail of treats? Do you know? Because we had nap to break our fast with. I don't understand. I was naughty. Broke a jug. Spilled all our milk. Your parents must have been angry. Mother said I should be spanked, but father said wouldn't do no good. Too many mouths to feed anyway. Sending me down the trail of treats, that would solve things. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes. I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. 
See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. <sighs> okay, so there is a werewolf in the area. Of course, there's always a bunch of different monsters and I guess they drew from a number of different sort of mythologies and religions or folklore or all that kind of stuff in order to build the the sort of world of this game with the monsters and all that kind of stuff. I'm not sure where werewolves come from. I guess I could look that up later. But it'll be too late to add into this video. <laughs> Siri plays a little bit different than Geralt. The control scheme, of course, is the same, but she only has one weapon. She doesn't have a silver sword, she just carries a steel sword around. And I guess, at least at the time, for the time being, her attack power is lower and her health is lower, but she regenerates health faster than he does. In fact, he doesn't regenerate health at all. So she regenerates health. And her dodging move isn't like the step out of the way or the roll out of the way. She is sort of like rushes forward like the flash or some shit. Hmm. You can come out now by something with immense claws. She is wearing one of the DLC costumes here. I guess she was dressed a little bit more like what Geralt should have been dressed like in the beginning of the game had I not uh chosen to go with a different setup. Look! There's something there. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But... No buts. Stay here. I must see something. Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Hmm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm. What's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, his liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tied? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. <laughs> when did children get so smart? What we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, fool's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. Siri was raised by witchers, so she has. She's apparently the princess, or I guess not princess anymore, of another kingdom which was destroyed in the war. 
She is also the daughter of the, although we've already run into that guy, the emperor of, the emperor of Nilfgaard. So, she's got a lot of royalty in her blood. She's also got some, like, ancient magic shit going on. But she was raised by witchers, and she, like, the, when she was investigating the, when she was investigating the body, she did it the same way that Geralt did when he was investigating that dead guy he ran across. She doesn't have the witcher senses, so she can't use that because she never underwent the mutation. But she's got other powers that, uh, at least later on in the game, more than make up for it. Gretka here. I don't... I think... <laughs> considering how good of a job they did with the character modeling of a lot of these characters here, I find the character modeling of the children to be particularly off-putting. It looks really weird. Like, Gretka here is running around. She's got, like, crazy broad shoulders for a child. It just looks really weird. Well, anyway... She was, she's not an orphan, but something we're going to end up stumbling across in a few episodes. She was being sent down the Trail of Treats. Now, it's sort of like a Hansel and Gretel kind of thing. Jeez, look at that kid. A Hansel and Gretel kind of thing where she was being led down by a trail of, uh, of candy or cake or something like that. And it's something that parents do if they are if they're trying to get rid of their children or it's something that orphans are sent to now there's some sort of a yeah, there's some sort of a local ritual if there's an orphan that no one can take care of or if there's a child that the parents don't want they send them down the trail of treats and there's supposedly a lot of food there and a lot of kids at least were sold on this idea because they may grow up. Oh, she's talking about it now. Why would they? There's plenty to eat where the path ends. They're at least sold on the idea that if they go there, they'll have a lot of food to eat. And a lot of them are probably coming from families where there's not a lot of food or anything like that. So even though they're being separated from their families, it still probably sounds like a paradise to them. What? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do. Hide! I was supposed to find some ingredients to make some kind of a, a weapon oil. Which Geralt probably has, but Ciri doesn't. And I didn't find all the pieces. It, I don't think it's really necessary. Killing this thing isn't going to be terribly difficult. Just attack, dodge, attack, dodge. Series health. She takes a lot of damage, but her health regenerates pretty quick, so you'll be all right. And her dodging doesn't use up magic or anything like that, so you can just do it a lot. You can get in your ass kicked, be down almost no health, and then just dodge around like a lunatic until you, her health recovers. My timing is a little off here. But, you know, we'll get it. I wonder if there's this backstory behind this werewolf. I don't think I've ever stumbled across it. Why, you really give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Oh, Yaren. Must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but Yaren... Uh... The little one. No details. You have bandages at home? Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I've, I've not missed, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. 
might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. Just who do you think you've brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. 